The Nephilim are a fascinating and complex topic, with a rich history and significance in various religious and cultural traditions. Here's a detailed overview. The Nephilim are first mentioned in the Bible, in Genesis 6:14 as the offspring of the sons of God, believed to be fallen angels or divine beings, and human women. The term Nephilim comes from the Hebrew word, Nephilim, meaning fallen ones or giants. According to the biblical account, the Nephilim were a race of powerful, giant-like beings who existed before the Great Flood. They were known for their strength, wisdom, and technological advancements. However, they were also corrupted by their divine heritage and became notorious for their violence, wickedness, and corruption of humanity. Divine Intervention The Nephilim story raises questions about divine intervention in human affairs and the consequences of such interactions. Hybridization and Genetic Engineering Asterisk The idea of divine beings interbreeding with humans sparks debates about genetic engineering, hybridization, and the ethics of scientific advancements. Corruption and Redemption The Nephilim's fall from grace serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of corruption, pride, and the importance of redemption. Ancient Knowledge and Wisdom The Nephilim are often associated with advanced knowledge and wisdom which has led to speculations about their connection to ancient civilizations and lost knowledge. Eschatological significance In some religious traditions, the Nephilim are seen as a precursor to the end times, symbolizing the struggle between good and evil. Goliath is often considered a descendant of the Nephilim. He was a Philistine giant, and the Bible describes him as a massive man, over 9 feet tall 1 Samuel 17 4 Some interpretations suggest that Goliath was a direct descendant of the Nephilim, while others see him as a representative of the Philistine people, who were known for their giant warriors. Azazel, a Nephilim leader, was said to have taught humans metalworking, weaponry, and cosmetics 1 Enoch 8131 and Azazel taught men to make swords, and daggers, and shields, and breastplates. And he showed them the things after these and the art of making them bracelets, and ornaments, and the art of making up the eyes, and of beautifying the eyelids, and the most precious stones, and all kinds of colored dyes. And the world was changed. Two and there was great impiety, and much fornication, and they went astray, and all their ways became corrupt. Genesis 6 5 7 Genesis 6 11 13 3 Amazarach taught all those who cast spells and cut roots, Armoros the release of spells, and Barakil astrologers, and Kokabil portents, and Tamil taught astrology, and Ashradval taught the path of the moon. For and at the destruction of men they cried out, and their voices reached heaven. Armoros, another Nephilim, introduced humans to sorcery and magic. 1 Enoch 8 3. The Nephilim were credited with building the ancient city of Babylon showcasing their advanced engineering skills Genesis 10:10 Genesis 6:14 The Nephilim are described as the offspring of the sons of God and human women They were the heroes of old men of renown The sons of God saw that the daughters of humans were beautiful and they married any of them they chose Genesis 6:4 The Nephilim were on the earth in those days and also afterward when the sons of God went to the daughters of humans and had children by them they were the heroes of old, men of renown. Numbers 13 32 33 The Anakites, a Rephate tribe, are described as descendants of the Nephilim. And there we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grass hoppers, and so we were in their sight. Ezekiel 32 27 The Nephilim are mentioned as warriors, the Nephilim of old. They lie with the warriors, the Nephilim of old who descended to Sheol with their weapons of war. Jude 1 6 7 The Nephilim are described as wicked and violent. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. 2 Peter 2 4 The Nephilim are described as being cast into Tartarus, a place of darkness. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment. Enoch said the following things that Nephilim were giants Enoch stated that Nephilim were great giants, whose height was 300 cubits. Because one cubit is 18 inches, 46 centimeters, 
this would make them 450 feet, 140 m, tall. Nephilim were the offspring of fallen angels and humans Enoch also stated that the Nephilim were the offspring of angels and human women. This view was described in the first book of Enoch, a non-canonical Jewish text, and remains a popular explanation. Nephilim were wicked Enoch also stated that the Nephilim were wicked and violent. The concept of non-physical beings angels interacting with physical beings humans in a physical way is a complex and debated topic. Here are some possible interpretations. Spiritual union Some believe that the interaction between angels and humans was a spiritual union, rather than a physical one. This union could have resulted in a spiritual offspring or a divine inspiration, rather than a physical child. Materialization Another interpretation is that the angels materialized or took on physical form to interact with humans. Thank you for using Panopreter Basic. This would allow for physical contact and sexual relations, resulting in physical offspring. Possession or influence Some believe that the angels possessed or influenced human bodies, allowing them to interact with humans in a physical way. This could have resulted in physical children, but the angelic influence would have been the dominant factor. Divine Intervention Some religious traditions believe that God or the Divine intervened to allow the angels to interact with humans in a physical way, resulting in the birth of special individuals, such as heroes or prophets. Allegorical Interpretation Some interpret the story of angels and humans having children as an allegory or metaphor, rather than a literal event. This could represent the union of divine and human qualities, or the struggle between good and evil. It's important to note that these interpretations vary across different religious traditions and cultural beliefs. The original text from the Bible and other ancient sources often leaves room for interpretation, and scholars and theologians have debated these topics for centuries. The Nephilim have inspired numerous artistic, literary, and cultural works, including Literature John Milton's Paradise Lost and Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials series feature the Nephilim as central characters. Art The Nephilim have been depicted in various art forms, from ancient Mesopotamian artifacts to modern paintings and sculptures. Film and television movies like Noah 2014 and TV shows like Supernatural have featured the Nephilim as characters or plot points. Music bands like the Nephilim and Fields of the Nephilim have taken inspiration from the mythological beings. In conclusion, the story of the Nephilim offers a rich tapestry of themes, motifs, and symbolism that continue to captivate human imagination. Its relevance and significance extend beyond religious contexts, influencing art, literature, and popular culture, while sparking important discussions about ethics, morality, and humanity's place in the world. Upgrade to Pano Preter, the standard edition, more voices and features available, and know this audio clip.